Hello, Alan Sarge. I just want to take a minute to address an issue that's been ongoing for a while. A lot of people have covered this. A lot of people have talked about it. A lot of people have had conjectures, ideas, theories. You remember this? Oh, by the way, I'm in front of my militia wardrobe again. Get you one. Remember this? 22 ammo. You used to be able to get a box like this for what, $2 or less? And then the great gun scare come around. President Obama and his black ninja army is gonna come take all your guns and your ammo and, and all that. Well, then the prices started going through the roof. Now a box like this will cost you about $5, $6, $8, depending on where you are. Hell, some places it may be 10, I don't know. But the days of the cheap ammo were done. Now. That's because of President Obama. That's because of fearful preppers who are hoarding ammo. But to be honest with you, in my opinion, the biggest driver behind this is your gun stores. See, your gun stores get this stuff in on a regular basis. They can say they don't, but they do. With all the hype, with all the fear, with all the preppers having to store up ammo, those prices went through the roof. Gun stores get ammo like this, it never sees the shelves. It never leaves the back room. Because now, they're on these websites selling ammo at inflated prices. So they get it, they just don't sell it out front. They sell it in the back over websites. So, we've allowed ourselves to create a new norm. Used to, you could get a brick of 22 for what, 14, 15 dollars? Now you're looking anywhere from 30 to 55 dollars. Some places, again, even higher than that. So, it's out there. It's still being made. It's still being shipped. But your retailers are juicing us. Your retailers are taking advantage of us. And, and here's what's happened. We've allowed that to happen. We have created the new norm. We have let fear and misconceptions drive the prices that that ammo up to where it's, it's just crazy now. It's beyond ridiculous. But we did that ourselves. We allowed that to happen. So President Obama, the fearful preppers, and crooked ass gun stores, crooked dealers have done that. Now, right now the cheapest ammo out there for pistols is a 9mm. It'll be next on the chopping block. You can guarantee it. 223, hell, they're trying to ban it now. So, remember, get off the fear wagon. Don't feed the monster. Stop buying the shit. Stop buying it. Stop paying those crazy prices. Let them sit on that shit a while and see if it doesn't drive the price back down. Stop buying 22 ammo. Stop feeding into it. The higher it goes, the more you pay, the more they'll keep it that way. Just shut down, stop buying 22. Just absolutely refuse to buy it. Let them sit on it. Let's see if we can't bring them prices back down at least a little. That's just my opinion, guys. This is Alan Sarge. I'm out.